Well, my friends, now that we have all settled back into our bodies, it is time we resumed our duties in earnest. Let us speak of our plans. Ever since the Emperor's death, it's been one unsettling rumor after another. I have a mind to pay a visit to Garlemald to ascertain the truth of the matter. A prudent endeavor. Tis of the essence that we establish the full extent of the threat, not least if it should prove that Xenos doth indeed orchestrate events from the shadows. In light of which possibility, I shall accompany thee on thy mission. Be assured that thou shalt find me more a help than a hindrance. Thou requirest another to imbue thine ammunition, dost thou not? Assuming that's settled, there's something I've been meaning to look into as well. Welcome back, everyone! Lise! You're fine now, right? No more headaches or keeling over? That's right. We're fighting fit and raring to go. The famous Lise Hext, former scion and hero of the Alamegan resistance. I don't believe we've met. Really? It's so easy to assume that all Archons are acquainted. But then I suppose your fields of expertise are rather different. Grahatir, at your service. I have read much and more about your exploits, Commander. It is a pleasure to finally make your acquaintance. Likewise, the others told me all about you. Do not be so sure. Words scarcely do justice to the vital role he played in our victory in the first. A more dependable comrade one would be hard-pressed to find. Oh, right. I did glance at the report. Uh, but I'd be lying if I said I understood half of it. Well, well, that's a lot to take in. Um, just to be clear, this means we're not heading for another calamity, does it? Shorn of their unsundered master's leadership, what Assians remain shall struggle to see their plans to fruition. And though I would ever advise caution, I believe we may rest easy for a time. I'll take that as a yes. Even so, I don't know what to make of this business about Hydaelyn and Zodiac being primals. A difficult truth to bear, yes. But at last we understand the nature of our adversary. And if there are no further calamities, neither will there be rejoinings, meaning Zodiac will never regain his full strength. Even so, as the oldest and mightiest of primals, he remains a force to be feared. Though his is a power born of the desire for salvation, we have seen the havoc it may wreak, and it falls to us to ensure that it is never again brought to bear upon this star. But tell us, Lise, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit? What do you mean? Isn't seeing my long-lost comrades reason enough? Hmm. All right, there was one other matter. I have a message from the Alliance, and before you ask, yes, it's about the Empire. So, 
After Emperor Varus' assassination, it seems his cousin Nerva made a bid for the throne. The trouble is, he wasn't the only one with designs on it, and it didn't take long for a civil war to break out. And it's not just in the provinces. Early reports say huge swathes of the imperial capital have been reduced to rubble. The Alliance will soon convene in Alamigo to decide on a course of action, and we were hoping you'd come along. Well, as it happens, Uriange and I were just this moment planning a little trip to Garlemald, and we should be grateful for any advice the Alliance can provide on how best to make the most of our visit. To Alamigo, then. Why don't you go on without me? There's something I need to look into. Ah, oh, forgive me. You were just telling us. What is it, if I may ask? I want to find a way to cure the Tempered. Of course. You think it may be possible to adapt the treatment you use to help those corrupted by the Sin Eaters? I'm sorry, a cure for tempering? But that would change everything. Alizé, consider yourself uninvited. Go and find us this cure. I'll do my best. I was hoping you might join me. Don't worry if not, though. I won't hold it against you if you'd rather attend a stuffy meeting. <laughs> I knew you'd say yes. I'll come too, if you don't mind, that is. Mind? I'm sure they would be glad of your company. Pray, enjoy your time together with your hero. My... no, no, that's not... I mean, I... I, I simply thought my knowledge might be of some use. We shall be on our way then. Godspeed.
My friend! After the disappointment of not seeing you in Alamigo, what good fortune to chance upon you here of all places. As you may have heard, the Allied Nations are making a renewed effort to address the primal problem. To that end have I invited the Chieftain of the Vanu to Ishgard, that we might together plot a course. Since the war with the Empire appears to be nearing its conclusion, I would also like to call upon Estinian's lance. Alas, he is, as ever, a difficult man to find. I am informed he recently paid a visit to the Rising Stones. Should he happen to do so again, be sure to pass on my regards, won't you? But tell me, what business brings you to our fair city this day? A cure for tempering. You never cease to amaze me. Until now, our only hope has been prevention, our every failure irrevocable. But this, this would rewrite the rules of engagement. It could end the cycle of bloodshed. Very well. You shall have all the ceruleum we can provide, and an airship with which to transport it. In this matter, you may count on Ishgard's full support. I would have thought Cerulean weighed so much. Serves me right for being stubborn, I suppose. I should have just done what you did and accepted help. Good work, you two. This is all we ask for and more. Quite a lot more now that I look at it. Lord Emmerich, eh? And entirely by chance. Ha! <laughs> Some people have all the luck. We have also succeeded in configuring the terminals, thanks in no small part to our able assistant. <sighs> it's been a while, hero. You seem surprised to see me. Lest you misunderstand, I've no interest in such things as cures for tempering. But if you mean to achieve that which eluded even the storied elegance, it seemed plain that you would require my expertise. <laughs> and so it proved. Is that not right, Garland? For all the effort it took to track you down after your latest disappearing act, you could find the cure for death and it wouldn't be worth the trouble. <clears throat> uh, 
<sighs> that wasn't the only reason I agreed to cooperate. I'm reliably informed that Garland and I are destined to unravel the secrets of travel not only across dimensions, but through time. Doubtless the lion's share of the credit lies with me. Nine parts to Garland's one. And this research will be a stepping stone to that illustrious achievement. Uh, very well then. I'll do a tenth of the work. Just the part that's beyond you. <laughs> Whatever you say, Garland. By the way, the healing applications of Crystal Foci proved very useful in getting us to where we are now. I must remember to thank Mikoto. Right! If everyone's ready, let's begin! Ah, all appears to be in order. Now, we just have to wait for it to find us our magic. Why not take this opportunity to put your feet up? This may take a while. It's overloading. Chief! She won't last much longer! Uh, we'll have to shut it down. Wait! We're close! So very close! Oh! Well, this is going swimmingly. Please, a moment longer, I beg you. There. No. <sighs> I was able to memorize the magic before it faded. It still needs to be put to the proof, but I believe we have our cure. It's just as well. She'll never run again. The fault is mine. I'm sorry. Don't be. It may fall short of dimension hopping, but a cure for tempering is not to be sniffed at. This, my friend, is a world-changing discovery. One we're proud to have had a hand in. <clears throat> a few Magitek terminals are a pittance to pay. Thank you. Well, we've done what we can. The rest is up to you. <laughs> <laughs> 